now, now we can say good afternoon. <laughs> you are ready for a nap? Uh, thanks, Hong, for your kind invitation. I am glad to be here and share with all of you my experience with Helios. Melasma are hyperpigmented lesions that does affect mostly for a head, cheek, upper lip, and chin because they, they are the most exposed areas to the sun radiation. The treatment, the usually treatment, the common treatment are ablative laser, dermabrasion, peeling, skin lightening creams, but most of them fail or exacerbated by an irritative phenomenon. <clears throat> I, I, you, you must understand we must to avoid irritation. Irritation go to the wall, <laughs> heart problems, or hyperpigmentation. For me, the most modern and effective treatment is microfractional ND jack laser. Why is the reason I choose Helios 2 between a lot of microfractional lasers? This is a joke of words, but if you understand that the melasma, the PIH, Many pigmented lesions are produced by the heat of the sun, and you are crazy to remove this lesion with heat. And then it's very important the way you deliver this energy. If you deliver an uncompact energy, you are going to produce vascular dilatation and hyperpigmentation. Then, <clears throat> Helios have an optical element that transform uncompact energy in 81 points. But many companies have microfractional. The difference is the only company in the world that has patented this system, DOA, is laser optic. And if we study the way that other microfractional deliver the energy, you can see <clears throat> you have different points of energy. Some energy is lower, that no effect over the lesion, but others have a higher peak, and this can produce hyperpigmentation. This diffractive optical element produces an even deliver of the energy that you get the target. You go through the skin without damage the skin, and you get the target. But it's so important to choose a good technology as to use in appropriate way this technology. When we treat for first time a patient with PIH or melasma, high, have a higher chromophore. I'm trying to say that the pigmentation is high. If you deliver a higher energy, you are going to produce irritation. Then, to treat a melasma, it's very important use 1064 
and you begin with lower energy, 500 millijoules, I think is appropriate. In my clinic, we treat, treat with Helios, approximately 40 patients a day. For me, it's very important that this machine have a higher hertz, because one phase melasma I can treat in six minutes, but you must to keep moving. You must to keep moving in the skin, because if you stop, you overlap. You deliver too much energy in the same place. Most of the patients that come to my office are desesperated with the melasma because they went to medical doctors, they treat many treatments, and they think this is impossible to treat and to eliminate this pathology. <coughs> uh, in our clinic, to, to get a result that, like this, they 12 to 20 sessions. I treat one a week or each 15 day, or if the patient is very pretty, each day. <laughs> you are not sleeping, eh? <laughs> you follow me. <laughs> uh, okay, when we finish the treatment, the energy is higher, 900 millijoules. I read that other people take this lesion in lower sessions. Uh, what happened, I'm researching with Helios. Just I only use Helios. I don't associate with nothing more, no lightning creams. The only association is the patient must to avoid contraceptive drugs and must to use some protection. Post-inflammatory <clears throat> hyperpigmentation or PIH. Uh, they are product of the sun irritation or another kind of irritation. We receive many, many patients that come to, to, to our office because they try to remove the hairs, wax, wax epilation then produce a vascular detection that the final process is the hyperpigmentation. Also, there are many patients allergic to the desodorant or patients that get a laser dermabrasion, etc. Like in melasma, I begin with the lower energy, 500 millijoules, but in the areas like the upper lip or the eyelid is a small area and it's very difficult to put the handpiece there, then I, I reduce the hairs. Hairs is the unity of repetition that the laser deliver. Then if we have lower areas, you can see here like the, the helios to work without producing irritation of the skin. And this is the post treatment. I think takes six sessions and we finish with high energy. I begin to use <coughs> laser since 20 years. I learned in the Mayo Clinic, United States, Harvard University. I, I, I dedicate mo most of my practice in uh, skin rejuvenation, CO2 lasers, I take the eye box from transconcentival incision and I tighten in the skin. I don't remove the skin of the eyelids and I use CO2 laser. And sometimes I have hyperpigmentation that, thank you God, help me the helios to, to take out. Always I say, buy a fraction and the Zach laser. Because if you think about in how, how long you, you recover the inversion, it's is unbelievable. You, you buy now. Because with CO2 laser, sometimes I use 
once, two, three, four a week, and in summer, forget. But when I open my, my office, first I, I turn on the Helios. When I go back, I turn off. It's working 10 hours a day. Many of them, my patients have pigmented lesion of the hands, then I recommend you to begin your practice with low energy. 532 is, is more superficial. And before talking about this, uh, most of the dermatologists in Argentina try to remove this pigmented lesion with cryosurgery or something like that. It's very painful for the patient and they have a lot of hypopigmentation. Using inappropriate way the helios in the modality 532, you are going to have a satisfied patient that send you more patient to your office. Then you must to calculate the millimeters with the energy delivered. Two hertz, because if you use more hertz, you are going overlapping in the same sessions. <coughs> Here is seven millimeters. And first the lesion ten, ten, turn white, then black, and 14 days after, go out the lesions. Some cases. If uh, I'm going to treat the patient, a man, with this hyperpigmentation but also hyperkeratosis, I'm going to use more energy. Maybe, maybe four millimeters and 350 millijoules. But you, you don't have a pigmented lesion. You have a patient with a pigmented lesion, and you have a season, and you have several necessities of this, this patient. Then you must to use the laser according to the patient, the lesion, the season, and the necessity. This is a phototype two, and I removed in just one season in winter, one season in winter. But here you can see three millimeters in 340 is a lot of energy. But this patient comes from the United States, and the, this lesion is hyperkeratosis, hyperpigmented. And I have the possibility just in one time to remove because it's not going second time. Or this patient, if you use more energy, maybe you have hemorrhagic petechias. And this patient is businessman of Tanzania, one session. And, but if you have this patient with phototype 4, don't use high energy. This patient must be treated like a melasma with 1064 full face, 10 hertz, 500 millijoules at the beginning, and just few lesions you must to treat with lower energy. But the patient come my office, no, now I'm going to use for your full face 1064. You have no side effect. But 1064 is going to take you several sessions. But I can use in some of your lesions 532, but very few sessions very few lesions because if the patient look ugly, too much ugly, doesn't come back. Then you must use 532 in three, four lesions and you whiten in the skin in very lower and in 14 days you do another session with 1064 and 500 and you whiten and you finish with high energy. Moles. I remember uh, I finished a surgery full a facelift and has an ugly, an ugly mole here, and I remove it. When the patient wake up and saw that doesn't have his mole, her mole was terrible. Some mole, the patient 
feel comfortable, but many patients come to the office to remove their moles. Helios 2 in the model 1064 is an adequate mode to remove moles. Just in one or two sessions, you can remove the mole without damaging the surrounding the skin because the mole absorbs all the energy. But the recurrence, recurrency is high because sometimes the mole are deeper, the pigmented lesion are deeper. And two more important things. One is you must to be sure this is a benign lesion, like with a bioscopy or with a shape and sent to an pathologist. A second is I was talking with a dermatopathologist and they saw a changing of the cellularity when you treat with the laser or cryosurgery. This doesn't mean that you transform a benign lesion into a malign lesion. This does mean the cellularity change. And if the anatomic pathologist is not uh, understand what happened, they can send to remove the lesion like a tumor. Pigmented nails. I, I discover, I never hear about this. I discovered this, uh, generally patient wraps one, one nail against the other and you can see hi, hyper uh, keratosis for, for, for rubbing and hyperpigmentation. Well, the treatment is use lace, uh, helios. In one session you can clear the nail send to this patient to the, the psychiatric, generally have some ticks, and use creams to humectations, but Helios work very well in this. Nail fungus. I think we have nearly 300 patients treated with nail fungus. Most of the patients come desesperated. They receive all kind of treatment, all kind of drugs, have problems, stomach problem, blood problem, liver problem, and nail fungus stay there. And mo most of them have not uh, the, okay. If you use this, uh, the Helios, is in one session, the patient that feel pain, you relieve. My protocol is use one treatment a week during four consecutive weeks, and after that, one treatment by months until the nail grow up. When they grow up, the pain of the hand, the age of the patient, etc., etc., etc. How the Helios laser interact with the fungus nail? First concept is selective photothermolysis. Many, many of the fungus, not mushroom, fungus, <laughs> have melanin because the fungus want to, to protect from the sun. Then absorb the light of the laser and uh, and damage the fungus without damage the surrounding skin, the nail, or the matrix. The other concept for me is to produce slowly bulking heating of the nail bed. Slowly bulking heating of the nail bed. For this reason, you must to use a higher spot and to continue moving. Because if you use a small spot, you are going to produce a pain and the patient is going to remove and you have no effect. 
And my third theory, and this is why I use in my whole patient 1064, is for the photoacoustic. When you shoot, 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 you hear, phew, phew. it's a photoacoustic, and I think this is damage the nail, the, the fungus. And three is in three months, this result. Perionychia. This patient have many years with a lot of pain. Perionychia. One incision, you improve it. The pain. One incision. I'm in sorry. <laughs> One session, no incision. I use uh, only long poles and after 1064 when the hyperkeratosis is higher. If not, I not, I not use. You can see in two sessions how vaporized the lesions. You can see this white dust belong from here. Okay, uh, uh, I found this aesthetic news. Uh, I think the best way of communication, new research is through internet. I invite all of you to subscribe and it's going to send all around the world and you can send publication, research, investigation about uh, laser and other technologies. I think it's the best way of communication, faster, you can associate videos here. Well, you, you have a high experience with the tattoo. The helio have two hand piece that help to treat a small tattoo and big tattoo faster. Uh, uh, just with like all, all the treatment, you must be in with lower energy and a small blister, white blister like this. And this is one session. Uh, no, not in all cases have so good result in one session, but generally we, we can see is this, and also is good for dermopigmentation. Uh, next time, I really don't know when will be next time, I will be speak about skid tightening with long poles, carbon peel, vitiligo, vitiligo, and helios. This <laughs> the surrounding area <laughs> to take everything even. <laughs> and this is injection, fair injection, and congenital nebus. Well, this is thanks in Spanish. Thank you for your invitation.